Hey guys, and welcome to the Bayern View. This particular video is going to be about Philip Coutinho and the fact that could he come back to Bayern? There's the question put straight to you guys in the first 10 seconds of the video. With that said though, welcome to the Bayern View uh, on the Bayern Munich fan channel. Hopefully you guys are uh, going to enjoy this video. If you do, please smash the thumbs up button greatly and you know, brilliantly appreciated. Um, don't know if those two words have been put together, but either way, very appreciated here on the Bayern View. Uh, helps the video get out there and the algorithm and all of that. You've probably heard it all before, I apologise, but it generally does. With that said, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. It's there for a reason. If you want to see more content from the Bayern View, hit the big old red subscribe button, come part of the family, so on. Now, before I even get into this video, I want this to be said. Christian Volk hasn't said anything about this. Fabrizio Romano hasn't. No, well, there probably are, but various, you know, nothing. This is from me, me personally, not the Bayern view. Me personally having a feeling that we could go and get this player. And I'm putting the question on this video on the Bayern view for you guys. Now, I don't know if this is going to get any views to other viewers. Maybe it will. I'm not sure. But this is mainly to the subscribers, the people that have put, you know, you know, their trust and all of that and hit the subscribe button. Now, Philip Coutinho, we've obviously had him. You know, he was a player. You know, Philip Coutinho, um, you know, we went and got him on a loan. Uh, you know, we had to pay uh, 8.5 million um, euros to to cover his wages. And then obviously we were we had the option to, to buy him in, in a fixed fee of 120 million euros, which is a stupid and ridiculous price. Now, he's fallen out of, um, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. To be honest with you, with that, um, you know, falling out of love, falling, I don't know what to say generally, but obviously did it for Liverpool, absolute baller for Liverpool, goes and gets a big money move to Barcelona, one of the stupidest transfers ever, not because of him, and I wish him all of the best, generally I do, but what I mean by the stupid transfers, Barcelona should not have spent the money that they did um, on him at all. But they did. They think he was going to be the next Neymar. Didn't happen. He's gone there for big money. That then that means you go you go anywhere for big money in this world. Uh, you know things are going to be expected of you. And he didn't fulfill those um, desires or de destiny or whatever it was. You know thoughts or whatever. And you know basically. Um, got crapped on if you want to say it like that uh we did on the, end up getting him on loan i thought he played very very well for us the only thing with coutinho is he is a little bit injury prone but on his day my word uh he is a little genius um you know you could even call him a wizard you know if there's anything close in football um to a wizard it's definitely him uh you know you had ronaldinho back in the day but now it's probably him he, he's just He's stupid. Like his movements, his skill, ability, everything is just stupid, you know? Um, you know, now Xavi is obviously the new manager at um Barcelona. Uh, and Coutinho's current contract expires in 2023. And Xavi ha is insisting and uh, putting out there that Coutinho will get an opportunity to fight at Barcelona. And um, the current club, though, the club is currently in a bad way. Everyone knows it. You know, that's the reason that Messi is no longer at that club. But they need money. Now, I made a video. I'm not really too sure when this one's coming out about Pedri and the, the fact that Bayern seem to be... Uh, aiming in on Pedri to be their biggest signer ever uh, in Bayern's history uh, and even to smash the 80 million euros that we spent on Hernandez. Um, and that is because Bar um, Barca need money. Now, this player, for me personally, I yes, we were touted to, you know, spend uh, or offered to spend uh, 120 million euros. We were never going to do that. Like, we are never going to do that. And unless he turns, unless he was to turn into Mbappe or Haaland overnight and all of his injuries go and never get injured ever again, injured ever again we still probably wouldn't have done it. And we obviously didn't, and that's why he's overstuck in Barcelona. He, the, other, the other day, I believe it was something like he was refusing to come on. It's, you know, it's a crazy situation for him over in Barcelona. Uh, and, you know, they're going through a crazy situation in the, in you know, they're in their own way, you know, and for me, I feel like, you know, yes, Pedri is definitely 110% an option, you know, but Coutinho is a player I would love to have on our ranks. Now, is this a player that instead of 
instead of going, like I said, he, his contract runs out in 2023. Instead of going for him now and probably still having to spend a good amount of money, 60 million probably, because this is Barcelona we're talking about. Do we wait and try and get him on a free transfer? That's the only thing. He isn't the youngest player, though. That's the only thing with that. But I would love Cortina. I absolutely love him. I think he is such a good player. When we actually got him, I was so, so hyped. Generally, I was because, you know, this is a player that just oozes with class, everything. Generally, he oozes with absolutely everything. He's so good. If I can find Philip Coutinho, there he is. This season, um, got himself one goal, played nine of the 13 matches. Um, if I actually could quickly click on him as well, he is... Uh, 29 years old. So by the time that he his contract is up, he's going to be like 31. So if we're going to go for him, I think we have to go for him soon. Now, this is just, again, like I said, I've, I've rambled on for six odd minutes, but this is just to put it to you guys. Would you take Coutinho back at the club? I love him. I think he's a fantastic player. He's been linked with Man United, Newcastle, obviously getting their takeover and so on. And he's been linked everywhere because he wants out of Barcelona. Um, but let me know what you guys think. For me personally, if we could get him on a cheap deal. Now, he's not the future. Definitely not the future. The future for him is past. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, And I know that probably sounds stupid, but I mean, like his good days were in the past when he was playing for Liverpool and just got his move to Barcelona. Uh, and obviously he come to us on loan and did well. Um, but this is definitely a player I would love to have on our squad. You know, you know, even if even if he doesn't play every single game, it it would be so good to have him. Like, because on his day, if we need a goal, he can play off the left wing. He can play wherever you want him to play, bar striker, and obviously not defence uh, or defensively. He's just a little genius. He generally is, and. Um, let me know what you guys think. That's basically that. So yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for this video. Smash the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And until then, see you guys on the next one. Peace out.